San Francisco is one of the most transportation-rich cities in the country, but we've got some immense issues and challenges. We've got the great land use, we've got the great street design, and people are coming and using transit, but it's overwhelmed. At the same time, the people that are driving are finding it really hard to get around the city. Too many people are getting hit by cars and they're getting killed. We also have a population of our city that can't afford to get around, or they physically are not able to get around. Everybody can benefit from increased mobility, reduced travel times, and reduced costs. That time in travel is time that people aren't spending with their families or they're not spending at their jobs. In 2000, I had a stroke. This is what uh, put me in the wheelchair. This is my car. This is my baby. I'm not a sit-at-home type person. I'm out most of the time constantly doing something. No one solution is going to help make our city smarter. We can't focus on one corridor or one street. Our Smart City Challenge proposal is really one that we think is holistic. We're focusing on smaller pilots across the region, the city, and particularly neighborhoods. From an integrated mobility app that can allow you to route, book, and pay, to collision avoidance technology on our largest vehicles, free Wi-Fi in the neighborhoods, improving bike sharing, car sharing, and electric vehicle charging access in the neighborhoods. Having a street with five lanes of traffic is actually not helpful to anybody. We're trying to rebalance our streets for people who are walking, cycling, taking transit, and sharing. So if we can figure out a way to get people around in higher occupant vehicles, you can fill gaps in the transportation network. You can provide services where we're not currently providing services. And we reduce the need for parking, which means we can start converting some of our parking structures into affordable housing. And then we're going to create a community challenge. We're going to invite the neighborhoods to say, I'm ready for this. Neighbors will be able to reconnect with their neighborhood, shop locally, and really help reinvest their local dollars in their neighborhood. My husband and I both decided to get rid of our cars. We've gotten this big old cargo bike with a little bit of electric motor to help us get up the hills. We've done a real good job of just taking advantage of what our neighborhood and what our city has to offer and how we can just get everywhere we want without a car and doing it that way. This city is only 49 square miles, and every time a car goes down, you're contaminating your 49 square miles. So you need to get people out of cars and in some clean vehicles. From the day the cable car was invented right here in San Francisco to today when we are hosting 12 companies that are testing autonomous vehicles, we are a leader in transportation technology. And with some of the nation's top data analytics programs and researchers on our campus, the University of California Berkeley can lend immense support in helping San Francisco meet the smart city challenge. We have a society in our city baked in of early adopters who love to learn, test and play new ideas. That's our culture. We have the ecosystem of all our providers the strongest support network from our universities, and we have the ability with all of our different topographical neighborhoods in our city to really test this in different applications. We should be able to scale it from the neighborhood across the whole city to the rest of the cities around the country, and then ultimately around the world.